All right, guys, welcome to the final video in the prerequisite section of Lexi's guide. Uh, first step, we're going to install uh, an EMB series. So the first thing you need to do is install the EMB series binaries. And that's what we're going to do here. This is a graphics modification library designed to allow gamers to configure their games to their liking. Sounds good. Click download. All right, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and click download. Save to file. Go and close that out. And once that is done, let's minimize mod organizer. Open up your download folder. Good. And now we're going to go into our Steam library. Have that available to us. And because we're going to throw some stuff in the Skyrim folder here. So open up that zip file you just downloaded. I'm going to close my download window. And we're going to go into uh, the wrapper version. And we're going to choose d3d11.dll and uh, d3d compiler 46e. So I'm control clicking that. And I'm going to drag these into uh, Skyrim Special Edition. That's it. We're done with that part. Close that out. And we can close our mod folder. Close that folder, rather. Now we're going to install the actual preset. So we can bring up Mod Organizer again. All right, LJOS, AMB, cover, uh, AMB for Cathedral Weather, Night Eye, Real-Time Snow Cover, and Performance Friendly. So this is the official EMB that Lexi is endor endorsing for her guide. So this is the AMB we're going to use. So let's go ahead and download this folder. Click on Download. Go into File. Whoops, not Images, Files. And right here. And we're going to download it through Mod Manager here. So this is going to be the first official mod that we're going to install through uh, first official Nexus mod we're going to install through Mod Organizer. So click on Mod Manager Download, Download, and you'll see it here. Click on Downloads here, you'll see, see it here. That's great, it's already downloaded. Let's open up the full mod instructions. So double click on what you just downloaded. And the full mod says to choose Lexi's Cut right here. Click, click Next, click uh, this right here. And we're going to choose full. It's already chosen full. Next. Next. Click next again. Next. And that's basically it. And then install. Cool. And then with this particular mod, uh, there's an additional step. Install LJOS into MO2 using what we just did. Then copy and paste the installed files to the main Skyrim directory. So what she means to do is right click on the mod here. Open and explore. So there's two Skyrim folder here. Let's minimize mod organizer. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into our Skyrim folder. So go into your Steam library. Locate Skyrim Special Edition. And drag these files into that, into Skyrim Special Edition. And that's it. And even though it doesn't say it here, that's pretty much all we need from LJOS. Because as you can see, that's all that was, all that, all, all that was. So, even though the guy doesn't say to do it, you can uninstall this now. You can get rid of this, and that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't need unneeded clutter here. So, I am going to uh, remove mod. So, right click, and remove mod. Yes, there. And we could also delete it from here. Delete install downloads. Or, delete. Just click delete. Removed. Stop it. Yes. All right. All right, that's it for that. And then we have some additional INI tweaks to uh, to um, accommodate that ENB. So um, if you remember, you do that by clicking on this, uh, um, clicking on this right here, tools, click, INI editor. First thing we do is Skyrim INI, we're already there. Look for display. Here is display. And you're probably gonna to wanna to use the control F command to find this stuff because that's a lot of, that's a wall of text, so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm highlighting this here. Pressing Control C, come back over here, clicking in the window, then pressing Control F, pasting it in here, paste, then find. Did it find it? It moved the window. I'm not seeing that highlighted here. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say it doesn't exist. F global bloom. Yeah, it's it's not here. See here's the F global settings. Alright. 
So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to highlight all of this here. I mean, I'm not just going to copy this entire thing because chances are one of these settings does exist and we don't want a double entry. So I'm just going to select all of that, copy it from here. And I'm just going to group it with the rest. I mean, nope, you know what? I'm going to put it at the top. So I'm clicking next to display, putting here. That way all our uh, added settings that we're manually entering, they're all clumped up in an easy to find location. So I'm putting it here. Control V, boom. There's gl uh, global bloom threshold boost. All right, let's see if we can find FSAO bio BIOS. I'm not seeing that. FS snow. Okay. I'm not seeing any of these actually. FSAO, nothing here labeled FSAO. But just to be safe, I'm gonna click Control F and type in FSAO and see what happens. FSAO, find next. Yeah, not here. Okay, so in this case, we could have copied this entire thing. All right, so starting from the second line here, I'm highlighting all of this, copying it, and I'm gonna put it directly after that first entry that we put. So clicking next with it, hitting enter, then I'm gonna press Control V, boom. All right, that's it for Skyrim.ini. Let's look under Skyrim preps now. That's right here. We can go ahead and click save. Now preps. Let's go to display. And let's see if we can find B enable improve snow. Yeah, that's a lot of things to sift through with your eyes. So I'm gonna go F. And let me just type in snow. There it is, B improve snow. And we want it to set to zero. It's already zero. Now let's find F gamma. There's F gamma. We want it to be set to that. We don't want to change that. <clears throat> Next two entries, we need to choose one. Choose either BFX AA enabled or B use TAA zero. I'm going to use BFX AA enabled because I believe this has less of a performance under TAA, but you could choose not to use either of those. So uh, yeah, locate either one of these entries and make sure one is enabled or disabled to your preference. And here's BFXAA, I'm changing that to one. <clears throat> let's find BUSE TAA, that's right here. And it is set to zero. Now let's find this one. I don't know why, but that hurts my eyes to look at it. So I'm highlighting it, pressing copy, clicking here. Oh, I see it right there actually, I didn't need to do that. All right, we're going to set that to zero. B I B L E F, whatever. Now, yeah, the next one is, I'm going to say bindable. The first one was bibleable. But yeah, whatever that is, it's right directly underneath what we just changed. So bind enable, bind enable. And it is already zero. Then we want BSAO underscore CS enabled. That's right here. That's already set to zero. We don't need to mess with that. And then BSAO enable set to zero. That's set to zero. Then B tree receive shadows. B tree receive shadows is one. That's what we want it to be. B draw land shadows. Let's find that. Ba, 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 ba. All right, I'm not spotting immediately. So, oh, there it is. B draw land shadows. It's the second entry in the under display. We want that to be set to one, and it is. Uh, B shadows on grass. Not immediately spotting it. Okay, you know what to do. Control F. And I'm going to type in B shadow. Find next. And it didn't find an entry. Okay, so we have to add that one. B shadow grass. Copy. And I'm gonna put that at the top. So I'm clicking next to display, hitting enter and control V. Okay, now let's look for BU 64 bits HDR render target equal one. So Ba -ba. All right, I'm not seeing it right away, so I'm clicking Control F. 
And I'm going to type in B use 64 bit. Find next. Well, okay, there it is. I'm just blind. Uh, it's already set to one, so that's good. Be volumetric lighting enable. Am I seeing that? There it is right there. Enable one. Okay. So that's already set to one for me. If it's not for you, set it to one. And if you don't see the entry, then manually enter the entry. I don't see why it would be any different for between us. But anyways, now we're looking for I volumetric. All right, F F F F I I I I I I. Here you are. I volumetric uh, lighting quality equals two. All right, that's good. All right, after we've done that, go ahead and click save and then X out. Okay. So these next steps, the final steps that we're going to do has nothing to do with mod organizer. So let's close that out. Um, setting up HDMI full range. A special step is required for users that connect their GPU and monitor via a, via a HDMI cable. So probably people playing in the living room. So I'm an NVIDIA guy. Uh, so I can show you the NVIDIA example for you AMD users. Uh, just read through this carefully. If you're using an AMD Radeon graphics card, you need to do a similar tweak, but you have to change the display pixel format instead. This can be done by selecting RGB 444 pixel format, PC standard, full RGB, instead of the default RGB, etc. inside of the AMD Catalyst. Uh, hopefully you AMD guys know uh, how to do that, because I can't give you an example here. For the NVIDIA people. This is what you do. We're going to go into NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA control panel, right click, uh, go into NVIDIA control panel. And then go to the change resolution. That's where are you? Oh, right here, I'm already selected. And then go to uh, change resolution, find output dynamic range and change it to full. So, my settings. Okay, you would go down. And you would go here, apply the following settings, click on use NVIDIA color settings, output dynamic range, change it to full. That's right here and click apply. And there you go. All right, we're done with that part. And now antivirus and Windows Defender. How to add exclusions to Windows Defender. Now this part isn't all that bad. So let's just jump into it and get it done. So in the search bar here, I'm typing virus. So we see virus and threat protection. So this is for Windows 10, by the way. Um, if you have Windows 7, I'm really not sure. But anyways, from here, we're gonna go under virus and threat protection. That's right here, click, no. Nope. Yeah, right here. We're gonna virus and threat protection settings. Click on manage settings. Then we're gonna go under exclusion. Scroll down, here's exclusion, add or remove exclusions. And then from here, this is where the magic happens. So what we're doing is we're going to add a file path to um, Dindalod, TextGen, LogGen, and TextCon. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go into our mod folder. Let's do Dindalod first. Let's copy the file path. Copy. Minimize that. Click on Add Exclusion. Process. Control V. Type in slash. Then type in uh, Dindo. Lot x 64exe press add are you sure yes then we're going to add another exclusion this time for text gen which is in the same folder so add exclusion process type in control v slash uh text gen x 64.exe add and now we're going to do log gen so go back into your mod folder go up one level Go into xlod gen, copy the file path, boom, add an exclusion, go to process, control V, slash, then type in lod gen x 64exe add. Now we need the file path to textcon, which is also in the xlod gen, but it's in one more folder. So from here, go into edit scripts, and there it is right there. So copy that, go back to this, Add an exclusion, process, control V, slash, uh, then we're gonna type in T-E-X-T-O-N-V-X-64.exe, add, very good. 
Okay, we're done with those. Now we're gonna add a folder exclusion um, for Mod Organizer 2 and our tools. And luckily for us, it's all in one folder. So click add an exclusion folder. And my mod folder is in the uh, root directory of my C drive, which I called Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. So all I have to do is add this folder because it contains uh, our mod organizer tool and our other tools. So select folder, that's it for that. Now we need to add a file type exclusion. So add an exclusion, go to uh, file type, type in uh, dot nif and then add. And that's it for the antivirus uh, Windows portion and also the conclusion to the prerequisite section of Lexi's guide. Uh, I congratulate you on making it this far. And in the next video, we're going to get into the meat, potato meat and potatoes portions of the guide uh, for mod installation part one. I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Well, anyways, I will see you in the next video.